Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Dick van Oeveren and in this 10th video I will continue with the user-based tunneling scenarios. <coughs> in the first five videos I've covered all the concepts around user-based tunneling. Uh, so again, if you want to refresh your brains, just check out these videos and you can find them in the playlist. Um, as I said, in this video I will cover the configuration of user-based tunneling with local user roles. But what I'll do now is as a continuation of the uh, next video, uh, I will configure local user roles with a secondary user role. Um, and then for this scenario, I will also be configuring Mac authentication, 802.1x and captive portal. In this video, I will use the same user roles that are configured on the switch. And, but now I will configure them so that all the traffic of the authenticated devices are tunneled to the controller. Let me give you a high level overview of what needs to be configured. So on the switch, I need to configure the secondary user role parameter in the user role. And I also have to configure a reserved VLAN for the tunneled node server connections. Um, and I have to uh, create the roles on the mobility controllers. And, and then finally, well, there is no finally because there's no configuration required on ClearPass. That's already done. Um, I'm just pushing the uh, user role VSA so, so, so you're good for ClearPass. So here's the diagram again with the setup, which is pretty much the same as in the whole video series so far. First, I will set up the switch, which is pretty straightforward. The first step is to add the secondary user role name to the primary user role on the switch. Now, these are pretty long lines, <laughs> but uh, let me just show you the commands. It's AAA authorization, um, user role, name. Uh, let me do the camera first. And then the tunneled node server redirect, a secondary role, and uh, let's call it UBT camera. So this UBT camera is the name of the role that is configured on the mobility controller. Okay, let me do the same for the guest. And let's assign the secondary user role name guest to this role. And for the dot one X, I am assigning the UBT role dot one X again. So these are the role names that are configured on the mobility controllers. So notice that I'm skipping the redirect user role. So this is because uh, so the user role for the redirect is already configured for captive portal redirection and, and I cannot add a second redirection role. So this means that for the initial captive portal access, the traffic has to stay local and that traffic cannot be tunneled. The second step on the switch is to configure a reserved VLAN that is used for the user-based tunneling functionality. Um, and so in earlier versions of user-based tunneling, it was uh, required to have the VLANs also physically configured on the switch. So these VLANs had to exist on the switch as well. But now this is not required anymore. Uh, I only need one single reserved VLAN to carry the tunnel traffic. Um, now this is, uh, of course, except for the captive portal redirection rule that's using VLAN 100. So this VLAN, I still have to config this VLAN still has to be configured and have, has to exist on the switch because I use this uh, VLAN locally as well. Okay, um, let me just add that reserved VLAN. Uh, I have to do that with the role based uh, command and then it's reserved VLAN 4091. What happens when I do this is that um, this VLAN 4091 is created now by the system. So if I do a show VLAN, 
you can see that this 4091 is a tunnel node reserved VLAN now. It's, it's generated automatically. And that's it for the switch. Now let's move to the mobility controllers. <clears throat> so really the only thing I need to configure here is the roles for the camera, guest access and 802.1x. Now let me show you how this is done. Um, I think you have seen this before when I'm doing the port based tunneling uh, videos, but um, you know, let me just show it to you how this works. Um, so one is, so the first one I'll create is for UBT camera. Remember that this is the role name, uh, which is the same name as the secondary user role name on the switch. Okay, so that needs to be there. Um, okay, UBT camera, let me do the show advanced view. What I'll do for now is um, there are no policies assigned to this uh, to this role. Um, what I'll do is just add an existing um, policy which is allow all. So I'm just allowing all the traffic. Um, the other thing I need to do is I need to assign uh, a VLAN to this role because the the clients are, you know, in this in this situation the camera needs to terminate on a specific VLAN so I can do that in the more tab um, and for the camera I am assigning this camera role to VLAN 110 so I've got the policies there now so what I have to do is I have to create two more roles one for a guest. I'm just going to do exactly the same. Um, just create the other role for that one X. Okay, so that's there. Um, let's move to the guest one and add the allow all policy. And for the VLAN, so I'm on guest now. The guest is on VLAN 100. And repeat the same for dot one X. Um, I can assign VLAN 120 here, submit it, um, and do the allow all policy. And that's really it. So I'm committing the changes. And that should be it for the configuration of the mobility controllers. Now before I connect all the clients, uh, let me show you ClearPass, um, the endpoint. So this is the endpoint for the captive portal. So what you can see is that the MAC authentication expiry time is set here to 3 o'clock uh, August 3. Um, so now what happens if I would use the captive portal uh, function again um, and, and that falls within the time, I don't get the splash page. Uh, so I, I'm, uh, I get onto the network straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this expiry time. And then what happens is when I connect the client, I just get the login page, the captive portal login page again. Okay, so let me connect everything. The camera, the 802.1x user and the captive portal user. I am going to log in to the 802.1x client. And the other thing is the captive portal client. So I'm getting the splash page again. So let's log in. Okay, so that's all happening. Let me check the access tracker. And the access tracker shows that the camera is authenticated and it's sending the right uh, VSA. My 802.1x is working fine. It's pushing that role. Um, for the captive portal, uh, I'm getting this uh, initial login, which is doing the redirect. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's doing the redirect here. And the second one for the authentication. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, I need that one. 
so that's doing the port bounds and setting the expiry and then the third one is the final authentication for the captive portal pushing the guest user role so that's working from um, from a clear pass perspective now let me show you the switch um, I can do a show port access client just uh, just a high-level overview you can see that all the clients are there my camera my captive portal guest and a to the one X so that's fine uh, I can also do a show tunneled node server state and then you can see that my clients are also connected so one client is connected to uh, controller 158 and there are two clients connected to 159 so that all seems to work now let me show you the dashboard here uh, let me just do a refresh er, I should see three clients but I'm seeing two clients here I don't see the uh, don't see the camera um, so um, that's that's strange um, so let me just do some troubleshooting here and see why it is not shown in the client overview okay let me show you the controller the mobility controller um, so th this is the mobility controller to which that camera is connected um, remember I did a uh, show tunnel node server state and you can see that the camera is connected to this controller so when I issue a, let me just enlarge it a bit because that's quite a, li a long line. If I do a show user, uh, I don't see that client here either. So, uh, so okay. So really, what's happening here is that um, so once the the tunnel is established, the uh, the controller is snooping traffic from that client and and based on that information in that traffic the, con the controller can construct the user information now what I've done on the switch I have configured a filter to deny all traffic except for some specific ports uh, so it seems that the controller is not able to obtain the client information um, so let me do the following let me just create a class that uh, classifies IGMP traffic okay so so class IPv4 IGMP and for that class I am going to match uh, any IGMP traffic And then next what I will do is I will add this class to the camera policy. So policy user camera. Um, and I'm going to add that rule or that class. IPv4 IGMP action permit. Okay, now let me reconnect the camera and well we have to wait a little bit uh, until the client might show up um, so I mean it's it, it, so in general it's really very important not to block all traffic uh, from from clients from you know that are tunneled to the mobility controllers. so so typically controllers obtain information from uh, things like DHCP DNS um, IGP ARP traffic so really like the control plain type of traffic um, so let me just check in the access tracker whether the client is authenticated and it is authenticated and tunneled um, let me go back to the switch and do a show port access uh, client uh, the camera is on port 4 can see that it's authenticated and it's using the right uh, user role okay let me move back to the dashboard and do a refresh and see if the client has been learned there you go it's there 
Um, so you got the camera here, the guest, and the uh, 802.1x user. So again, it's really important not to block all traffic, but to allow some of the control uh, traffic from the client because that traffic is snooped by the controller. And that traffic is also used to identify the client That's all for now, folks. Pretty short video this time. Keep on the lookout for more videos on dynamic segmentation because there's so much good stuff to work with and to cover. Again, uh, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and these uh, video series. Uh, any suggestions, ideas or questions, uh, let us know. And remember to subscribe to the ABC Networking channel. See you later and have a great day.